This is definite integral question in which we have 0 to 1 as limits of integration and we have e raised to power x plus e raised to power minus x in the denominator. We start this question by changing e raised to power minus x to 1 upon e raised to power x because when we take reciprocal its power becomes positive. Then we can take LCM in the denominator e raised to power x multiplied by e raised to power x will give us e raised to power 2x e raised to power 2x plus 1 and this e raised to power x which is in the LCM that goes in the numerator. So now we can use substitution method for that e raised to power 2x since e raised to power 2x means e raised to power x whole square only we can start by putting e raised to power x is equal to 2. So its derivative is e x dx is equal to dt. Now whenever we use substitution we also need to change the limits of integration because sometimes it is bit difficult to back substitute the original variable and sometimes maybe we forget to change the limits according to this so it's better to change the limits in the beginning only. So when e x is equal to t, so we have limits of x as 0 and 1 and when x is equal to 0, so e raised to power 0 is 1 only, so value of t is 1 and when x is equal to 1, e raised to power 1 is e only, so our new limits are 1 to e. So i becomes 1 to e, e x dx is dt and in the denominator we have t square plus 1. Now we have standard integral which says that integration of this part is 1 upon a tan inverse t upon a. Derivative of tan inverse x is uh, derivative of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square. So integral of tan uh, 1 upon t square plus 1 will be tan inverse t. So this is tan inverse t and limits of integration are from 1 to e. First of all we will plug in the upper limit which is e. So this becomes tan inverse e negative sign. Then we will plug in the lower limit which is 1. So this becomes tan inverse 1. Now tan pi by 4 is 1 so tan inverse 1 is pi by 4 only. So our final answer is tan inverse e minus pi by 4.